morning everyone. We gather here this morning to celebrate the event of life, amen, and honor the, the legacy and the memory, amen, of Raymond April Vasquez, amen. Who's my brother-in-law? One thing I do know is that Raymond, towards the end of his life, gave his life to Jesus Christ. And you know what he opened your door to Come on, give a little hand share that in a bit, but that's why I say that, you know, we gather here this morning to honor his life and, and celebrate that, you know what, he made it to heaven, come on, he made it to heaven, and I don't think that in heaven there is no more pain, no more sorrow, uh, not even, you know, no more tears, not even death for the former things have passed away, in other words, it's a new life, you received a new life, his inheritance in heaven. Well, we're going to open up this uh, service today. Brother Danny is going to sing a song, but I want to open up with a word of prayer and also with a, with a comforting scripture here today. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, it says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies. God is a great God of mercies and compassion. And the God of all comfort, the God that can comfort every heart that is broken, every heart that is mourning here this morning, he will give you that comfort. Who comforts us in all our tribulations, or in all our troubles, or in all our stresses, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the same comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. You're going to receive a comfort that only comes from God today. And you're going to be able to use that comfort to comfort maybe somebody else when they go through a time like this. You're going to be able to give them that same comfort and strength. With every head bowed, every eye closed, let's open up this service in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you, Father. We gather here, Father, this morning, Father, to celebrate, my God, Lord, the life, Father God, of Raymond Vasquez, Father. Who, Lord, open the door of his heart, Father, and receive you as Lord and Savior, my God. So, Lord, even right now, Father, we know that there is nothing hurting him right now, Father. We know, Father, that, Lord, you have granted him, Father God, Lord, a, a, a body, Father God, a glorified body, a, a new body, Father. A new body, Father, that will not experience, Father, any pain, any sadness, Father God. Lord, no more hospital visits, Father. Lord, not even death, for the former things have passed away, Father. So, Lord, we gather here today, Father God, to honor that, Father, and honor the promises of your word, Father. 
So, Lord, we pray, Father, that you be in this service, Lord, led by your Holy Spirit, my God. And, Lord, we just pray, Father, that, Lord, you continue to uh, uh, comfort every heart, Father, that is mourning and broken, Father, especially, Father, Raymond's family, Father, from the youngest to the eldest, Father God. Lord, those that came from close and those that came from afar, Father, that, Lord, right now, Father, you touch, Father, their hearts, Father, bring that peace, that peace that surpasses all understanding, Father. So, Lord, we thank you, Father. And Lord, we give you all the glory, Father, here this morning, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Brother Danny. I'd just, like, I'd just like to say that my brother Raymond was asking questions uh, often and about Jesus. And, and I said, and I would talk to him and if you believe in Jesus Christ, you'll give you everlasting life. He says, I believe, but I don't, I don't understand it. Well, he understands it now, and that's what I, I'm so happy about. And he took that faith and applied it. I can only imagine. What it would be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart be in? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all will you be still? I can only imagine. I can only imagine.
you want me to write it down? I played there. I played there. He played the guitar. He sang. You know, I'm pretty sure the Bible says, you know what, when you read the book of Revelation, and it says that, you know what, there's going to be a holy worship in heaven. So, you know what, he made it right before God. And I believe that, you know what, he's worshiping his creator and his maker right now. But us right here, we can only imagine. Amen. So, Raymond Vasquez, you was born uh, uh, on April 15, 1951. Entered into eternity June 6, 2021. So he started his eternal life. The reason why I can say that because towards the end of uh, Raymond's life, you know, there were a couple of phone calls that I had with him. And even visitation, we went to go visit him up there in Las Vegas. And one of the things, one of the questions that Raymond had that he asked me is this, he said, Ernie, he said, does God really love me? God really loved me no matter what I've done or who I am. And I said, Raymond, you gotta know God's love. We're not, none of us are perfect right here. Is there anybody that's perfect right here? Put your hands if you're perfect. Well, I won't see you at the end. But nobody's perfect right here when he said, can God accept me the way I am? And he said this, you know, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna go to church and I'm gonna do all this and all that. It's not a church that saves you. It is your faith in Jesus Christ. And so he wanted to assure that. He wanted to make that secure. That you know what? Does God love me? Will God receive me into heaven? And I told him this. You know what, Ray? If you believe with your heart, with your heart, and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you shall be saved. And he said this. It's that easy. I said, it's that easy, Ray. It's that easy. You don't have to go to church. You don't got to go do all that. Just believe in your heart. And I believe that he was making his bands with his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I led him in a prayer. And he believed. And he opened the door of his heart. And he received Jesus Christ as his Lord and his Savior. So I honestly believe. I honestly believe that he's walking the streets of gold right now. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. It reminds me of the thief on the cross, the criminal that was on the cross. He didn't have to get off the cross to do many things. All he did was look over to Jesus. And all he said was, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus gave him this promise. He said today, he didn't say tomorrow or, or next month. He said, today, you will be with me in paradise. So the last breath that Raymond took uh, here on this side was his first breath in glory. Amen. So he's celebrating. I pray that you wouldn't believe that here uh, today. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to open up the mic. I know there's a lot of family, a lot of friends here this morning. And uh, I want to open up the mic briefly, you know, for those that want to come up. I mean, I don't know, maybe you, maybe he sang a song with you, maybe you went on a ride with him, maybe he ate together, something. But there's a fond memory. Everybody, look at this, this place is almost packed out right here. So that, I know this, that he touched your heart. So he left a memory within each and every one of us. I got a lot of memories of Raymond. So I want to open up the mic for family, friends, briefly, to come on up. Sure, fun man.
your dad was the best everything from singing to making people laugh to just his laugh to you know not understanding a joke but still laughing at it anyways <laughs>
room, set up the rooms, and we used to jam a lot and practice in our know, room. And, uh, there was a time uh, my wife's mother was the director of a nursing home here in Monterey Park. And uh, I had a band then, but Raymond Min, he was, uh, he had a really nice band. And he was the main singer. He did a show at the uh, hospital complex and hospital for a medical uh, place. And, oh, he sounded so good. He, he just looked like a professional. And the uh, band was excellent. I'll never forget that. That's one of my best memories of him entertaining. And, uh, and we, of course, we, we played together many times. <clears throat> you all remember all your, your good times with uh, my brother Raymond, Eight Ball. He was always uh, a friend, a friend to a friend. And he would never forget his friends. Spirit, spirit. 